G'day guys, so I'm out this weekend on a new property, just having a bit of a recce trip. Uh, it's been really wet weather, we've had a heap of storm activity come through. It's also absolutely covered in thistles, so you can hardly see into some of these paddocks, but there's some good country. There's a heap of uh, river frontage apparently down the back that we're going to have a look at, see what's down there, and we're going to do a bit of spotlighting, so stick around. Bloody thistle up in here. You just can't see through it. See into it about five metres off the track, and that's a bit a pig would just disappear in there, let alone trying to see a fox. How long's this thistle, eh? We're in the black soil, and Mark can't even stay on the road. It's bloody sliding. Been a little bit of a quiet afternoon since we've arrived at this property. Got a little bit of a tour around with the owner. Then we had a few storms roll through. Then we went out for a ride on the quads and ended up in all this horrible thistle stuff. Still saw some nice country, but yeah, it probably needs all that thistle gone to be productive. There are a few pigs out here, but I think what I'm gonna do tonight is concentrate down on some of the uh, river and creek edges where I can get a few angles with the light and the thermal into some of those faces, we might pick up a few foxes. I've put my thermal scope on the 223 tonight. Uh, this is the end of the evening. I'm gonna splice this in at the front of the video. Look, don't watch this if you're a little bit squeamish. There's heaps of carnage in it. Those 55 grain ballistic tips, they're doing heaps of damage on these small animals that I'm shooting. So uh, again, if you're a little bit worried about blood and guts and stuff like that, don't watch this video. This 223 with the 55 grain ballistic tips. Geez, it's doing some damage on these little foxes. One thing I love, and that is shooting foxes, but one of the offsets to that is, especially this time of year, is the fox cubs are about. So check these four little guys out. They're out plodding around on a the road. They had no idea. So unfortunately, they have to go because they will all be big and doing a heap of damage very soon. Fox cub with dad out on their first family adventure. Running a red light tonight. There's not too much that hides from this. Got the torch paired up with the thermal scanner. And that's throwing an image hard wide into an eight inch LCD. So it's pretty efficient to say the least. This is the best kind of feral cat, especially when it's just skin and a bit of flesh left 
of its cranium and you've shot it out of a dead tree with a 223. Nice work. I'm going to go home and go to bed now, I think. There's a few little pockets of rabbits around tonight, so we'll give them a little bit of a tune up while we're here. If you do like this video, hit the pause button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. I'm up on the edge of all these big gully systems near a river at the moment, and there's all these big creek flats and stuff that you can see down here, all underneath it. it it's really nice hunting country it's definitely not right around shoot stuff off the quad bike up in here but i'll be bringing the stalking rifle next time and having a good look around in here because i think it's um it's very promising you wouldn't know what you'd find up in this it backs up onto a heap of really big country so it's a good area on the river trill gorgy stuff All these big rocks cliffs it's a heap of goats on in here so that's promising Feral goats head here, so it seems. We're down on the river country. It's real gorgy down in here. Said to me, mate. The cattle on the right. Looked again. Nope. They're goats. They're completely fair game out here, so good stuff. Get some meat now. We won't be crossing the river today after all that rain, but it is cool as hell in here. There's big escarpments everywhere. It's real bony country. It hasn't ended up a bad trip considering how wet it was yesterday. We've got a dozen foxes, cat, a heap of rabbits, a couple of goats. So uh, yeah, pretty good outcome. Again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support what I'm doing a little bit more, have a look at my Patreon. See you guys. Just give the quad bike a bit of a bird bath before we go home. It is absolutely filthy after riding this black soil out here.